speaking of the players, let's have a look at those. On the left we have Apoku who is participating for the first time, and on the right we have Explosion, who is also participating for the first time. We see this a lot recently, I feel. Yeah, lots of new players. Nice to see. Mm -hmm. Um, this this isn't a round one match though, is it? This is losers one. So here, check check this out. Check this out. Remember when we we looked at the played matches and we were always like, ah, oh, which game was that? Oh, I mm -hmm. don't remember. Bam! You did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> So Look we at know, that! So we know that Fart Explosion played the PlayStation game Gunner 7, which was like, um... What's that Sega game? Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar Heroes, exactly. And Poltergeist played a Steam freeware game called Loop Loop DX, that was the one with the Undertale final boss. Yeah, yeah well, it's like a, you move around... Yeah, it, it wasn't uh, really very Undertale, if we're being honest. Well, you dodge around, I guess, like you would in Undertale. It's just that you would move and you would aim with the mouse and shoot lasers, which is not really. I mean, there's one boss, I guess, where you do that sort of. But, um, I know, I know where you're coming from. Some, the bosses had Undertale energy. That was a cool game, though. Um, it was, it was super punishing deaths. You could die and lose like three or four minutes or something. But that was the only, oh, only yeah. knock against it. Like you had to restart the whole world even. Mm -hmm. I died. I had the final boss down to like one hit and died in, in testing. It was like, oh god damn it. Hmm. I guess we just don't have game art for the box art for this. Okay, too. Game is impossible to crop for because it has, like this. This screen is ninety percent black. It just says stage one in the center. I could crop it to the just, stage one. Just, yeah, just crop. <laughs> just fill it with stage one. Just a little rectangle. Oh god. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the title screen. Oh no, oh no, the text is over it now. You missed your chance. Yeah, I did. Come on, remove the text, please. Ah! I got it. Easy life. So I did not see either of these two matches, actually. I tested both games, but I didn't see the matches. So I have no read on these two players' abilities. I have no idea what to expect. So the Loop Loop DX game was pretty clearly one-sided against Poco. And the Gunners Heaven? I, I think it's just that Ryweck did really well. And Fart Explosion kind of did regularly, and so Ryweck won. Got it. Yeah, Gunner 7 was a weird one. We looked at... Um, the, the goal was, I think, the first two levels, which is a little bit on the short side. Like, it was possible to just kind of blow through it, which I guess is what Ryawick did. Um, and so we looked at the third level, and it it's all auto-scrollers, and they're really hard. Like, I spent... It took me... It was like a 40-minute stage for me, whereas the rest of the game was like 20 minutes. Um, and Roar, I don't know, we've had that experience before, where it seems like the rest of the game doesn't matter, and it all comes down to one difficult auto-scroller, and then it becomes kind of coin-flippy, like, which one, which person just didn't manage to die the one time, and it feels like that's the only thing that matters, and even if you, it's sort of quote-unquote fair, it doesn't feel fair, so we just axed it. What'd we ax? Um, the third level from Gunner's Heaven. Yes. Yeah, it turned a 20-minute goal into an hour-long goal. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's a good, it was a fun level though. That's why I subbed it, but I think I think it was the right decision to cut it. This race is going to begin. The game has been revealed. It's in Japanese, but it's called Borijin. Borijin. Um, and it's part of like a family of games developed Whoa. by this the same developer. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a sort of like platformer run and gun thing. You forget this guy's name. It's we've seen a lot of his games. He has the gross tooth one. And several ninja related ones. This is like a Rambo style. Yeah, Ikiki, that's his name. This was submitted by Mooware, actually. Yeah, and I believe Mooware has sort of did like a showcase on a stream that they feature on regularly called Jank Science Theater of uh, all this devs games. But this one has been in MT before. Yeah, I played this. I remember this. So Fire Explosion still pretty early on. Apico just kind of had like a a weird like non jump came out and just like didn't even get close to clearing the spike. So it looks like there's a little bit of like physicsy accelerations stuff happening. Like if you are not moving full speed before you jump, it's difficult to get that speed in the air. Also, really good sound effects, usually, by this guy. The games generally control pretty well, but they, they're not perfect. They do feel kind of weird, always, pretty much. Um, and I think that the guy would probably be okay with that. Alright, the race is pretty close. Explosion missing the drop into this middle area that Apico also missed. I think they need to go for the wall jump there, rather than jumping straight in. Yep. If I remember right, you can like pick up the bomb with the shuriken to blow up that wall, but you have to be careful not to stand between the bomb and the wall. Apico's got the guy. No use fighting those other guys. Bring him to the sign? Yes. Okay. Huh, you don't even need the bomb. Oh, yes. Oh, boss fight. Learn, oh. The, learn the boss pattern. It's got rules. Well, can you get hit by your own shuriken if he knocks it back at you? No. Okay. It, comes, a, it comes back anyway. My favorite weapon in Neo. I don't know. Jump. Alright. <laughs> or don't. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> See, see, this is what it gets you if you do not listen to me. <laughs> you get the wall too, yeah, you can get way yeah. up on there if you want to be really safe. Can you wall jump up the same wall in this game? No. Yeah, probably not. What is not? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh now you can mash him. Wow, this does so much damage. He's nice dead. back attack. Sliced his head clean off. Alright, stage four, we're almost halfway done. I guess we are third on. A poker bl blows himself up. So then you need to jump over it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sniped. I like that mechanic. Let me see if I raise this on SRL. I'm curious how long this will take. Just take your time and double it. I'm bored. <laughs> Jin? Yeah, I raised this. Can... You can kill yourself with your own shuriken, I think. I don't know. Maybe there's some guy threw a spear and it was like your projectile was hiding the spear. I'm pretty sure they've been hitting themselves with their own shuriken a few times. Yeah, see? You just catch them. Yeah, okay. So uh, there's just like a, the guy shot an arrow that just was yeah. like hiding in the shadow. But these platforms style. are gonna drop. Yeah, they're gonna do something. Gonna drop. Nice. I would maybe activate the laser the button first. I'm not okay, sure if you can throw the 
I'm not sure if you, you can throw the shuriken. You throw the guy into the button. <laughs> oh! Ooh, okay. That nice. works. I like the noises. Mm. Alright, so I finished, that? I finished this in 31 and 10 seconds. And alpha... Stage 9? One minute later. Uh, yeah. Wow. So it must get a lot harder. My comment was, how do I program corner collisions? So I guess I was not happy with the corner collisions. <laughs> Man, this guy is tough. Okay. I like those ninjas. It's a cool mechanic. Alright, hit the bum with the shuriken. Nice. Ah, baiting the guy. Oh, this button is so annoying. Oh, he's gonna try to lure the boomerang back. Makes sense. Oh, so smart. Yeah, Apoko is a uh, uh -oh. pretty strong player, I would say. Picking up on stuff quickly. Uh, this guy, like, he can't even hurt you, really, because of that block in the way. Uh oh. But you gotta come oh, no. down. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I'm not sure if I want to use my shuriken. <laughs> oh, man. It's you have to do it, I think, from the over. little bump. So Fire Explosion, just having a, a world of trouble, like sometimes doesn't even get across the top. Like just ends up in the spikes up there. Oh, the back guy shot, which means that the yeah. front guy still had his arrow and the bad guy, uh, the back guy doesn't shoot. As long as the front guy is alive because he doesn't see you. So <laughs> it was very unfortunate. Oh yeah, wall jump. Of course. Exuno has the right idea. I guess, jump it all there. I guess there's no coyote time. Or explosion no, using the I, bomb to open the wall. I haven't played this game, but I've played other games from this dev, and I think it's always the same engine. Um, and it's really unforgiving. Explosion is on the spinning anchor guy. And that. Sirigama. Yeah, I have no idea what that weapon is called. It's a... Yeah, you got a chain in one hand and it's connected to a blade. It seems really stupid and convoluted, but it is a real <laughs> ancient weapon. It's like a hand scythe on one end. Yeah. And just like a weight on the other. Yeah, the end of the chain has a weight on it. I think you wrap it around stuff, pull it towards you, and then slice it is the idea. Sure. Mm. Stuff being the people that you're trying to kill. I was thinking. Oh, other side of him. I was thinking, wow, these these players are getting more and more lives. But it shows you deaths. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that boss was killed even faster uh, for fart explosion, so is one level behind now. Oh, a Pokemon now knows too. Nice wall jump. Oh, that's five done, I think. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, but fell in afterwards. What? Oh my god. Why would you jump in there? Oh no. I was wondering why there were suddenly two screams. I thought, oh, did I, do I have <laughs> audio from both players or something? <laughs> uh, just, just thought like it, it was over, you know? Like it didn't matter. I did it. That seems to be a trend in Japanese freeware games. In the game that I played, that was also a thing where you could die after the stage. Old school. Ah! There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a ninja. Oh. Oh, ninja. Oh. You say ninjaed? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, he got ninjaed pretty hard. Yeah, he got ninjaed then too. Like I don't like his Squidward nose. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! He just like throws the ground at you and you die. His sword is really small, considering how big his attack is. 
He's well, got he's... the power of the wind. He's doing the what are the EI is the sword technique where you put it in the sheath and then like you do you pulling pulling it out of the sheath as part of the move. I mean, how, does it help? <laughs> I oh, mean, oh, what's going on? No, he's oh, dropped his sword. To actually, deal damage. Oh, he did oh. it again. Oh. oh, is it like hitting him at the right time or something? I think it is. Yeah. All right, that's stage oh, six done. The special counter. At ten minutes. Nice. I'm I'm kind of scared for my thirty-one. <laughs> this game better get really hot really fast. Yeah, we might be seeing a contender. Oh, we're on fire. Did the yellow oh, guy? Oh, it's hitting the ninja with your back turned. That makes that would so be much really sense. Really funny. So far, explosion is on five now. Yeah. Did, I think Apoko killed the yellow guy and that set his shuriken on fire. Maybe you gotta dodge the shuriken that you used to kill the yellow guy. Mm. I was wondering, he just like caught on fire. I yeah. thought it was maybe something that the enemy left behind. Oh come on Apoko, just... You just, you just gotta be close. Just, just be give it, yeah, just give wall, it some yeah. extra... Like, some margin. Boots. Yeah, like that. Yeah. That wasn't even that close. Yeah, it, it, it sets the shuriken on fire when you kill mm. the yellow guy. I wonder if you can get him from off of the falling platforms. Okay, Fire Explosion's got the idea to hit this red button with the returning boomerang. Boomerang? Whatever. It comes back. <laughs> oh, shurikens don't come back. <laughs> Maybe you just need to not kill him? That was weird, he just died. Didn't he go into laser? Oh, close one for fire explosion, getting sniped by the double archers. Whoa, what is he? He oh, charges oh, the fire and Oh, then... it's 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 oh, doomed. Oh, it's doomed oh. too. It's the <laughs> is it arch file. Yeah. Arch file. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It looked like Apico broke line of sight and still died up in the top left corner, though. It's it's an overpowered arch file. I guess kill him fast and then back away. Well, yeah, you jump in the same way that you jumped over the bomb when you blew up the wall. Also, like he looks left, he looks right, so like you can wait for him to turn his back and then get him. But oh boy, Jeez. you got it! You got to be fast. It doesn't seem that complicated. It worked with the bomb. Just run to the left so that the shuriken hits the wall. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a shuriken, is it? What? It's like no. a saw blade. It's like a sh chakram, I guess. Yeah, it's like a morning star or whatever. No, not that. Well, oh, no, I'm thinking of the morning star. There's, there's thinking one, of Final Fantasy one, calls it a... There's one Final Fantasy game where it calls eight. it a morning star, and yeah. it, it screwed me up for my <laughs> life. <since I> was <laughs> like Is it the, the eight, the lady with the dog? At least I don't think it's Wyburns. No, it's some older one. This guy is zoning out everything pretty hard yeah. here. Uh -huh. Got oh. him. Nice. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, wait. Can oh, this is so tough. You got to cut the rope. Catch him before he falls. I'm, I'm more worried. Cut the rope and move to the left at the same time. I think. I'm more worried that he has to make it back across that middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he fall it looks really <laughs> silly, but it's so fast. hard to predict. He didn't fall fast at all. It's they, they, it's so generous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything else is fast. Remove two. Ooh. Tricky jump on the way back. Doable, I think. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, the oh, arrow. oh! there's another one! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this is insane! Okay. Ah! Oh. Just got the shot off. Apoko is pretty good at this game, I think. Honestly, this seem seems like a strong play here. I must agree. Red Explosion still on five. Just having a lot of trouble with the the two archer guys up top. 
Yeah, you really gotta bait the front guy at least. Oh. Yeah, I believe this is the only Ikiki this Ooh. year move where so it made it happen. That was really good by Fast Explosion. Let's see if Fast Explosion. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, perfect first platform. So you can't fire from the wall. That's annoying. Nice. Uh, or else he would be doing it, I see. Yeah, I agree. Got the double again. Oh! Oh! Nice. Close. Okay, big jump. One big jump and that's it. Everything else is going to be easy. Right? Yeah, this looks free. Yeah, until the uh, the apple flies upward. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there it is. Ah. The guy flew upward. He sure did. I hope nice. he's okay. Two levels. <laughs> yeah, he flew into the pit in the last level. I don't think he is okay. It's a weird game. Oh, you need the fire in this one to burn the uh... vine. Kill yourself on the spikes. Oh, there's, there. oh, there's a kill button. <laughs> it's not like the game has enough stuff to kill you. Okay, so how does this work? You really gotta hurry. Or maybe when he has his back turned? I don't really understand maybe, how you get this angle. Maybe you can drop him. Like, he has his back turned, you go down, you destroy the platform he's on. Mmm. Our explosion has the guy. Oh, that was close. Oh, don't don't jump down far. Nice. <laughs> Good. I'm glad we didn't see that mistake twice. Boss fight now for fire explosion. Apoko is like barely in time to kill the yellow guy, but then he's too close to the wall and loses the fire shuriken. Oh, there we go. Nice. There it is. Wow. I'm about to hit this button. You gotta reach, right? Oh my god, you gotta get way out there. More like a pro. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Nice. More like a pro code. Alright, do you go down or up? Um. Down or up? Probably up, right? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh fart explosion picking up on the special up. counter immediately. Yeah. Uh. Oh. But yeah, fart, fart explosion has the idea. Also, Poco has slowed down a lot, which I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he's on 8. I'm gonna run this stroke to the ground. Now you know how I feel when I test stuff. I got a time for like <laughs> half of the games that oh, get what? played in this tournament. Oh. I thought for some reason the vine didn't burn, but it just took a while. Oh. Uh. Ooh, got shot by fire explosion. Maybe catching up? One level behind. There was a lot of confusing stuff with the fireman. I think you need that stage knowledge. I mean, he's pretty early. Like here, Fat Explosion is gonna kill him, then die to the fire, and then be like, oh, okay, the shuriken was on fire for whatever reason. Let me not do that. I had a poker. Can you make this wall jump? Oh, just barely, okay. Oh, nice. That's stage 8 done. One more stage. Really careful to avoid the spikes. Come on, look hard. Oh, it's a boss. Oh, he. Oh, look! It was a car. It was a corner <laughs> collision. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you said. It was prophesized in the, in the old texts. <laughs> yeah, the the annals. <laughs> What if what if it's like we're here for the next thirty minutes fighting this guy because well, I hope so. Are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh, you gotta oh, hit this guy a lot. Reflective shot. I mean, is there a point to that? I think you can just reach him by no, jumping, right? Exciting. Well, you're you can hit you him from further away, him. so you have more time to dodge any fireballs he throws your way. Uh -huh. This guy is the master of elements. Oh, he has all the elements. Look at it all. Ooh, a poker immediately Luckily, sees. you can dodge every single element by being <laughs> in between these pillars. Uh huh. Ooh. Ooh. Sniped. 
Our explosion made it to the bottom of stage seven already. That was about uh, <laughs> like a sixth of his health that he that Foco had down. Pretty rough. Yeah. So if you're Can you not fire upwards. No. Otherwise, we would have seen it. Um. So Apoko is on the final boss, right? Like he knows this is the final boss. The goal is beat nine, and he's on nine. And this is where you get nervous because you, you want to go as fast as possible. Because oh, I'm on the final boss, so my opponent is also on the final boss, of course. And of course. you gotta beat them, and it's so stressful because now now you're like risking more all of a sudden, and maybe you're risking too much. Maybe you jump into a pit for no real reason. Yeah, like that. And it, it, like every time you die, you become more frantic, and it becomes worse and worse. You just kind of like feedback loop yourself into a panic. At least that's what I do. When I'm on a final boss, I think the smart thing to do would be to play safely. Because you know you're close, so you should finish. And dying is worse than not finishing. Yeah, but like finishing slowly. Yeah, but your opponent is also on the boss. I mean, you you've died on the previous stage so much. There's no way your opponent died that much. That's what you're thinking. And you really gotta like catch up here. It's true. I I I win so infrequently <sighs> that <laughs> when I'm <laughs> at the end of a game and the other person hasn't dot done. I just can't believe what's happening. I think, did I disconnect <laughs> and not realize it? Did I just not know how to use IRC? Yeah. What's happening? Well, at this point, I don't think I didn't know how to use IRC, but... It, it feels like Apoko has enough time to carefully make these jumps. Mm. I don't think Apoko is going to... I can't believe it. Before explosion might be finished Ooh, in this level. That was so close, he almost ninja the the guy. I mean, sure, can the guy. Morning start the guy. Yeah, no, not clear. morning start. <laughs> Chakram is what it actually is. <laughs> I wish I had watched like Xena or something and learned it from a better source. I don't know if Xena is your source for historical accuracy. They probably actually call it a chakra, at the very least. I guess I don't even know that. I just know she uses one. I don't know what they call it. I'm not sure I ever actually saw that show. Just saw, like, ads for it. Alright, so Apoko realizing that the water slash ice attack takes a really long while to start. So you can really get some good hits on the boss. This is at half health. You gotta wonder, it's probably not gonna change its patterns at low health. Nah. I feel What's like... this Pongo that we're talking about? What it's is Pongo? It's, it's, it's a terrible game. Oh, he's oh, just dead! Oh, oh! That's it! Beating Maritza's time by eight minutes! Oh, sorry, I, I misread it. I actually took three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes! <laughs> yes, yeah, it was pretty fast. <laughs> just another Tuesday for me. GG to Apico. Very, very what? strong showing. And Fart Explosion is on like level 8, right? Like it is on pace yeah. to like time Reese's time or whatever, right? No way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna happen. When did I race this? Maybe that's like, I can say, oh, this was, this was early. This was early, 2018. I was, I was a wee lad back, back then. Yeah. Maurice had never <laughs> even played a video game until 2017. It's true. It's true. <laughs> 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 I wish that that worked. Sometimes I'll like go back to a game that used to be really hard and I'll be like, I blind race stuff now. Now I'm good at games, right? And I'm not any better than I was before. <laughs> but no, I mean, to be serious for a second, very good time. Beating me, yes. me Alpha, and Zanic Reverie, who forfeit because too many drop jumps to be fun. Was his comment. I wonder if they have improved it. When I've played these games, they felt very janky to me. They're very janky. These players are not making them look all that janky. You know, sometimes no. like I, I'm watching someone play, and I can tell that it it's harder than it should be for them. 
and I can kind of guess something about the controls is off, but they're making it look pretty smooth. That's Blood and says they're, they're maybe gonna join comms, but also gonna keep playing. Okay. Um. Yeah, and it actually is. Uh, oh, no more fire. Is playing pretty well, honestly. I think Apoko had the right idea here of killing the archer first. Stage eight is kind of like tricky because. It's the first time you see this vine thing, and I guess maybe it's obvious if you've played other video games. But I feel like it, someone could get caught on that and not realize you have to use fire to destroy it. Yeah, now that you've played uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, yes. like, taking a fire <laughs> yeah. to a, a plant thing. Yeah, got to carry it nature. halfway through the dungeon. Oh man, Fart Explosion really went for it. Oh, we've got a Poco. I can move him in here. Oh, somebody else did. I grabbed a Poco to talk to us about a fantastic run through this game. Hello. We don't hear you. Oh, yeah. Might be a mic setting. But while, while we wait, yeah. It was a backwards hit there. That makes sense. Hello, hello. 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 Hi. Um, so I, I don't know if you're aware, um, but this has been raced before <sighs> by some extremely good blind racers. Maurice himself la, la, here, la, 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 la. Alpha 5, <laughs> Zenic Reverie, uh, and you beat them all by like a, like a number of minutes. Ten, We're yeah, all once. thoroughly impressed. Yeah. This just felt right down my alley. I was afraid I'd get like a puzzle game or something. Nope. Not that, not that, not that at yeah, all. Yeah. This is, this, yeah, it was really fun. I like this one. This guy has a ton of games, by the way, and they all are pretty similar to this. Yeah, they're, they're all basically this. Yeah. Uh, they have different kind of themes, but they all use the same engine. Yeah, there's always like a different weapon or movement or something like that. Gotcha. Kind of reminded me of like a hardcore Super Meat Boy hmm. with weapons. Yeah, with the wall jumping and... Yeah. yeah. A little bit more deliberate there. Yeah, you had a good boss performance. I was pretty nervous when you first got to level 9. That guy seemed like oh, he was yeah. going to be really hard, but uh, you made it happen. Yeah. I try to play that one a lot safer. Yeah, you were you were perfectly... Well, I don't know. You were perfectly willing to like get into the hole between the pillars and, and mm -hmm. wait out whatever bad stuff is happening. But you also realize, like... This is gonna go on a long time if I don't get some hits in. So like when those windows were open, it looked like you were really trying to, you know, maximize your time with those. Yeah, I kind of stood on the left side of the middle pillar because if you went on the right side of it, he would switch sides, and then mm. uh, basically shooting as many of them as you can. They like follow your jump height, so they're like likely to hit it, hit them if you even. Like, don't aim it properly. The right. problem that I had with that was uh, I'd be jumping a lot, and then you'd use a spell. So I'd, like, panic and try to fall into the pit, but I'd, like, fall straight down or like, not <laughs> yeah. go far enough to the left. Yeah, we did see a couple of those. Mm. Um, so Far Explosion is here. It said um, can't, can't hear us in race chat. Oh, no the problem yeah um well if they hurry up they could still beat maurice no <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see in a little bit um so you pl this is the this is your second match you played some some loop loop dx yeah. which yeah. is also not a puzzle game yeah yeah that uh, was a weird one i felt like that was gonna be really a good game for me, but I got tied up in the beginning, not knowing that I had to shoot myself. And then, like, I died in the last boss, too. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, that, that was a massive testing. time loss. I remember yeah. that. So, both of these games so far are games that I'm, like, 
a genre of game that I'm pretty good at. I'm surprised how well uh, my opponent did last time. Oh yeah, uh, we do know which game you had. Because you had... Yeah, I, it was Poltergeist, that's it. Yeah. Loop Loop DX. Yeah, I remembered Loop Loop. How could I forget Loop Loop? But I forgot <laughs> that it was it was versus Poltergeist. Um, well, there are... I So I did the math today. Because earlier, um, we had someone who lost in a puzzle game being like, all I ever see are puzzle games around here. And, uh, <laughs> um... And so I was like, is that, I don't know how many puzzle games. So I, I looked at every game I tested and it was, Ooh, I don't have like percentages, which would be a useful thing. And rather than just like 57, like, I don't, what does that mean? Uh, so <laughs> something like a third of every game is a platformer. A third of every game I just grouped under other, which is stuff like Loop Loop DX. Like what, you know, it's a mm -hmm. top down shoot yourself boss fight game, right? Like it doesn't categorize very well <laughs> um 34 were puzzle games 15 were puzzle platform games 13 was racing so it skews towards platformers but you know there's like a 15 to 20 percent chance i guess of pulling a puzzle game yeah that's a uh, lower odds than i expected actually it's been it it has been higher in other tournaments it, it what it the thing with puzzle games is that generally they're competently made if they're getting submitted and so mm -hmm. you can have a fun platformer that has some issues with where do i go or some sort of other unfair thing but like a puzzle game is a puzzle game and it's probably going to make it through so they get rejected less often i would say yeah that's true this is these are the games i tested i didn't filter out ones that got rejected so it probably creeps up to like 35 40 percent once you factor that in you dodge that bullet twice i guess so you think like you would just be no good at puzzles whatsoever i mean it depends i've been practicing them like uh Ooh. i got a block pushing puzzle game on my phone that i play every once in a while because that's like the worst that i'm at <laughs> the so, so hopefully i'll be a little bit better yeah exactly so Gubon. that's maurice's weakness the for mystery oh, tournament yeah. 14 he joined almost every single race and i tested like over 100 games so the Venn diagram overlap was like at like 60 plus games where both of us played it and put up a time and I only beat him once and it was in a in a shove it the warehouse game oh. which is a, oh, a yeah. SNES Sokoban game with no yeah. proper undo button. Yeah, that's Genesis, only one that's, step, that's bad Sokoban. That's like the worst plainest you're literally inside of a warehouse Sokoban <laughs> that there is. <laughs> yeah. Blocked that's in a awful. Room. Full of boxes. It's a nightmare. <laughs> hey, I can hear. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Good game. Yeah, good game. But was the game itself good? I really enjoyed this game as a puzzle game. I could not handle it as an action game. See, I, yeah, the Hempuli in the chat said that this is kind of a puzzle game because we were talking about genres in here. Um, but you're right, the action part of it was pretty demanding. I had a few inputs being eaten, and Windows kept telling me to turn on sticky keys, oh, wow. <laughs> which I had no patience for. Right. This is a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shift is jump, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think a controller would have made a big difference on this, but whatever. This was still a lot of fun. Well, I'm super glad you had fun. This was, unfortunately, an elimination match, though, so I guess this was your last official match in Mystery Tournament 16. That's all right. I uh, will take some fond memories of my time here with me. Throwing a lot of brackets. A lot of people were in for the username. Well, that's all I had this tournament, but it served me well. Also, you sh if you're feeling a little bit bad, um, you should know that Apico is like minutes ahead of some of the best blind racers we have who have played this game before. So like, it's actually like an absolutely monstrous time you were up against, and your time was actually probably going to be pretty good when you finished. 
Oh, I don't feel bad at all. Congratulations on your stellar time for this kind of wonky game. Thank you. <laughs> um, time, both of you made the the awesome, hilarious, perfectly understandable mistake of throwing a buzzsaw at a man suspended from the ceiling, unable to nice. do anything about it. Um, <laughs> what went through your head when that happened? I just laughed. It was, that was awesome. Yeah, this was a good game for that sort of shenanigans. Oh, I enjoyed I, it. I died after I beat the mission. Uh huh. Uh, that yeah. one time. <laughs> so you you died at the perfect time. Like the screen popped up the, right when it should have to say like stage six or whatever was next or whatever, and it said stage five again. And I went, what? And I, yeah. I wasn't sure either. I was like, I beat the level. Might as well jump in this pit. <laughs> I had a feeling nope. this game would be tricky like that, so I, I yeah. played it carefully. Well, it was a it was a great race. Thanks so much to both of you um, for for coming out and playing for everyone. Uh, Abaco, best of luck on your next match. I, well, one far explosion. How was your how was your first mystery tournament experience overall? Oh, it was fantastic. If I can have this much fun losing games, maybe one day I'll have some fun winning games. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love the attitude. Yeah, there's plenty more races and stuff to join, and then we'll we'll have other events and stuff going on around here too. So we'll be happy to have you stick around. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Myth, do I have a surprise for you? There's oh, yeah. an excellent game coming up. Cool. And you were going to be excited to commentate it, I think. Oh, thanks for having me. Yes. Thank you so much, Apico, for coming to talk to us. Oh, boy. <laughs> So we let this one through, huh? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's find uh, out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. You beat it in a reasonable amount of time. I saw it happen. It seemed reasonable. <laughs> I I don't know. I I don't know. Like this, sometimes, sometimes, I do really good at video games. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, but and I, I don't see. I, it might have happened this time, but maybe not. We'll see. Uh, one thing we did do, which was a major problem, and one of the reasons that I didn't finish my run is that character choice was not locked in this game originally. And... Generally, I, I think I said this when we we were doing Mario Kart, but you want to lock character choice in nearly every game you submit to Mystery Tournament. Um, just going to make things better. Yeah, it's um, it's a mostly uninformed choice that the players are making. You might you might even some have a screen that shows some stats of like this character is kind of like this. And so like you, you might understand a little bit about what those terms mean and you could use that to make a choice but you don't really understand within this game like how important is damage versus health in this game how important is acceleration versus top speed in this game you don't know until you play it so it's like it's effectively a, a random decision and it, sometimes it has a really big impact on the race and it's just not what you want to have decide a race Absolutely. And then um, <laughs> this game, uh, I messaged uh, <laughs> Pika Pals about locking the character choice. He goes, oh, I didn't even know there was multiple characters. Yeah, that sounds good. So probably played with the default character who uh, is the one that Myth used to beat the game. Um, but... Yeah, power, strength, and technique. Yeah. Well, and not only that, I think Myth probably said this. I was reading stuff, so I might have. But like... Even if you're like, okay, I want a fast car and not one with high acceleration. It's like, you don't know what kind of levels are coming up. So you have no idea whether or not that's even useful. 